Hi, this is Mike Griggs. I am at the AMD stand at Seagraph 2022, and I'm going to take you through a couple of our machine demos here. Uh, I'm an independent artist who works alongside AMD, uh, creativebloke.com, and what we have here is an animation that I created for uh, AMD showing off the amazing Radeon Pro W6800. Now we're showing this in After Effects, um, running the Boris Sapphire plugins, and these are being run in with a HIP um, encoder straight to the GPU, and that enables us to get the most out of both these incredible plugins and uh, also the, the most out of the hardware. Now the interesting thing about this was when I rendered these in Redshift on a machine using W6800. I was using um, Boris Sapphire FX for this actual shot and it was already pretty quick because we were using a W6800s with this Red Ripper Pro machine. But now that we have Sapphire actually hip enabled, making the most of the GPU, this is only going to benefit artists in so many different creative ways. The other thing to notice about this is we are running this in full 32-bit um, color space on this amazing Dell monitor we have here. We are running crypto mats, we are running full EXRs, uh, open color, ACES, everything up to the max, no proxies, and this is just running away quite merrily. We can change colors, everything's interactive. These two machines are a dream as an artist to work on. And so over here, we have a technical demo of the machine learning capabilities of Nuke from the Foundry, we are showing a PyTorch demo here now. What we have is we have an amazing play of um, talent walking in front of this tree and we have the rotoscoped result. Now what was interesting about this, if, if I just pause this, what the artist had done was that they had picked 20 points throughout the 600 frame shots and then fed those into the PyTorch machine learning tools down below and then the artist went away for her lunch and then when she came back the shot had had a first review now what this means for artists is that what was weeks worth of work has now gone down into a morning and the other thing is is because this is machine learning this can then be implemented on different takes of the same shot with different talent it's limitless and it isn't just rotoscoping. The Foundry are enabling this throughout a lot of the creative processes within Nuke to allow artists the freedom to actually be artists rather than technicians is going to be absolutely game changing for us all. And it's only the fact that this is writing through HIP straight to the AMD GPUs with the Threadripper Pros. It's just it's a good time to be an artist, especially one who's been in the industry so long, it's fantastic to see these paradigm shifts coming through. So I hope you've enjoyed that demo and looking at the amazing things that we have. It is a great time to be a creative artist and thanks to AMD for making these amazing machines for us.